kick again. The Bulldogs just hanging on here. Vailia, is he going to blow it in? There's one Toya. Total fall back. We ain't giving no details. And my brothers don't care about your pre-sale. I could use the button and have your whole street tape. Gives it to Johnson. He's winning Johnson. Alright, so this week, I want to go on in for no. I want to go and say to everyone, this is not a fluke, this is actually who we are. Alright? Nah, it's been good, it's been upbeat. Um, Obviously the boys are feeling themselves a bit, but we've got to make sure we bring ourselves back down to earth, you know? Only round four, so round five this week, prepping for the Sharks. So looking forward to it, it's going to be good. No, no, the body's sweet, man. The body's sweet, it's um, just little bumps and bruises, so just just kind of taking that in. But um, besides that, the body's feeling good, man. Yeah, unreal, mate, unreal. He got his cake, he got a few presents, and the boys did the hucker for him, so it was unreal. Yeah. I think I think that would have made his day, you know? Yeah. And probably even made his week, but no, he deserves it. He works his ass off here, so yeah, deserves that. Yeah, I think f for me, just more so my edge D in terms of um, our talk, our flow with, with our edges, with our halves. And obviously we got um, Ronnie there this week, so it'll be a good, good challenge for himself, but a good challenge for us against Sharks. They played really well last week. And I think, yeah, just our edge D to nail that down today um, and get some comms up, so it'll be good. Get that cheese with me. No, no bad energy. Please stay away from me. No, I don't get no satisfaction if all you do is flex it. And I Like it's been a good week, like in terms of our prep, so it's been awesome. Um, obviously, today, like I said, was chilled, but then we had captain's run and Tom Ali's birthday as well. So it was a few smiles getting around. Yeah, we sang, uh, we sang him happy birthday as well. So it was good and it's pretty cool. Yeah, but yeah, I think for me, it's just kind of just working really hard. I think I had a pretty good pre-season in terms of being on the field every day and working hard out there. So that's been a big, big work on for me. But um, yeah, I think Webby's. Webby's been awesome for me as well. I think Webby has helped me understand my game a lot better and be able to, um, I guess, work at the things that I need to work at and and just get better at those things. But yeah, I think a big one's Webby. I think he's been super chilled in terms of being a coach, being able to have that balance of, I guess, being a coach and, and, and knowing when to um, be hard or when to give honest feedback, but then also knowing when to have a laugh and went to just have a normal chat, so yeah, Webby's been awesome for me. Well, I haven't really spoke about it. I think um, for me it was a bit more deeper, like when I was at the Bulldogs, I went for a rough patch there, like I wasn't playing my best footy over there. Um, Facebook, I haven't been on it for a few years now, nearly 10 years, um, but Instagram, I kind of hopped off it four years ago before I signed with the club because I went for a kind of rough patch there and I don't really like looking at Instagram or looking at what people do, that's just my thing, I don't like looking at that. And, you know, like, um, like everyone's kind of on their phones these days, so I kind of like staying off it. So <laughs> it's a good thing. And um, but yeah, it's I enjoy it. You know, I mean, like, just gives you more time to spend time with my wife or with with, uh, with family or to do other things. So, but at times, you know, I see the boys on there, and then like you kind of get brainwashed as well by some of the things. You know what I mean? These days, everyone's kind of negative sometimes, and um, yeah, so I kind of just steer clear of social media. Yeah, yeah so my wife's from there, so my in-laws are, are from Cronulla, so yeah, it'll be cool, they're gonna come to the game, hopefully. They said it's raining out there, so, but I, you know, like I don't see much, so I think they'll come out and make the trip, so it'll be cool, man. It's it's a cool place, Cronulla, it's, it's, and their fans are pretty um, pretty rock solid, eh? So, now I'm looking forward to the challenge uh, tomorrow, and looking forward to seeing my family. Take the pictures, oh, please say cheese with me, oh, get that cheese with me, no.
know what you already told them. Been scribbling since a kid, from Vivis to making hits. Been in it since I was big enough to show them. She wrote the tip, I want the vibe. I think the drive done saved my life. Give me the sip, don't want the ice. I know the smoke gon' save my night. First half, the SD was, was off. Yeah. But in saying that, I thought in the second half, we kind of just chilled and went back to what we knew and defended really well, and like we always do, just back each other. What about Clutch Karen, bro? Two big moments right oh, at the end there. For unreal, mate, you know, he's been running great lines. He's been running great lines, he's an awesome player, and he's pretty handy coming off the bench, so. So good about being behind. I swear on your life, in the, in the box, you were that pump. Because, boys, we couldn't have played worse. And if we got it right, I knew you guys could win. We knew you could win. The whole staff knew you could win. Alright? It was unbelievable. We that win especially um, like the way we did it like in that second half and we just just stuck resilient and you know for sure need to knock that um, that penalty goal over was special obviously for the team but for himself first in his old club so no we're stoked mate it was it was unreal night oh that's I was saying to the boys last night and like even this morning we were talking about it but that's probably the that's the best win in my career so far like in terms of just how we hung in there like we made it hard for ourselves in that first half but that belief and that determination, that grit, we just hung in there for each other and made it was unreal. It was, yeah, honestly, best feeling.